This is the first tutorial in a series of tutorials on how to build a basic calculator in Flash. In this tutorial we will create the buttons and we'll create some of the back-end code um, that will help the buttons operate. The first thing we want to do is create um, our buttons and the way I did that is I created a single button and then just copied it and changed the label on it. So we'll look at my zero button and all my zero button is is a black square with a number with static text on top of it and I've copied that to each frame and all I've done is change the fill on the on the over and the down frame. Once I've done that I can go into my library if I want to make a copy of one of my symbols, in this case my number zero button, I can click on the button, I can right click it, and then click duplicate. When I duplicate, it's going to create a second button with the zero in it. So what I'm going to do, so I'm going to call this one 10, obviously you wouldn't need a 10 button, but I've already created all of my other buttons. So num 10, click OK, and then I'm going to go into that button, and all I need to do now is just go in and change the text. Change the text on each one of the layers, and now I have my, of course, useless 10 button. But that would be how you would go from a 0 to creating a 1 to a 2, etc. Once I've created my number buttons, I'm going to create my operator buttons in exactly the same way. Um, so I need to have all of my numbers, 0 through 9. I need to have a decimal place. I need to have my four primary math operators and my equal sign. At the top of the screen, I'm going to create a label. If I look at the properties of this thing, um, I have named this SCRN for screen. It needs to be dynamic text. And then one other kind of strange thing is the behavior needs to be changed. By default, it will be multi-line. It has to be single line in order for this to work properly. Each of my buttons also needs a name. So I've named them num0, num1, num2, num3. Remember there's no space here. Num dec, so DEC for decimal. And then my operators, I've named op equals, op add, op subtract, op malt, op div. Now I can go into my code. The rest of this is in the code. And once again, I've written the code in advance. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add a listener to each of my buttons. And I'm going to add a listener to each of my number buttons. So num1 dot add event listener, mouse click. And this, we're going to send this to the function num click. So this is exactly the same for all of my number buttons. So you can just copy and paste and just change the the number from 0 to 1 to 2, etc. Let's take a look at numclick. Numclick, the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to get e.target.name. And that is the name of the button that has been pressed. So I can use that num button to determine which of my buttons has been pressed. And I'm using that. This is not the easiest way of doing this, but it's the easiest way to do it with what you know right now. So if num button is equal to num zero, so if the zero button's been pressed, then screen, we're going to append text to screen, we're going to append um, the text zero. The same for one, two, etc. What append does is it whatever's on the screen it adds to it whatever's in the quotes here 
So in our case, 0, 1, 2, 3, etc. So that's going to be the same for each of the number buttons. Now we're going to go back to the top. We're going to look at our operators. Our operators are going to work in much the same way. We are going to send them to a function called opclick. And here's my op click. Again, I'm getting the op button. At this point, all I'm doing is I'm putting to the screen which operator has been pressed. So this is not functional yet. All this is doing is just putting it to the screen. Then my last one is op equals. I'm going to make a separate function for equals. I'm going to call it equals click. I'm going to put that right down at the bottom. And again, this one's not doing anything. All it's doing is putting to the screen the equal sign. So when I run this, when I press buttons, numbers come up. If I hit the X button, I get the operators. You'll notice that my decimal sign doesn't work yet. That will be in the next tutorial. You'll also notice that the operators don't disappear. So we need to do some, some manipulation with our strings before we move on. That's the end of our first tutorial. In the next tutorial, we will, I'll start to show you how to work the decimal sign and how to get the operators functional. Thanks for watching.